more work down in my shed and I just made these um, shelf standards here. <laughs> Here I've got a few pieces of this black particle board that they ship my expensive plastic on. I thought it would be perfect stuff for shelves. I already used some down on the countertop. That's on top of the cabinet that I took out of my workshop that used to be underneath the uh, workbench. So I made these so that they are 11 inches apart and um, I want them like the top shelf fairly close to the ceiling. I think I measured down like 12 inches. So I'm just going to line that up in the corner and measure down 12 inches. Make a mark on the bottom. And then I can use my level to draw a line across. The line uh, represents the bottom of each of these standards, so they'll all be the same height. I made them all the same. Uh, last time I did this, people were wondering what I was driving the screws into. Thinking maybe it was drywall. This is particle board. Marked out the locations for the other two, uh, equally spaced from the other ones. Alright, so now all I need to do is cut the shelves and get those put in. I'm not going to fasten the shelves, they'll just be sitting in there. Of course you can fasten them, screw them down. I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, uh, to dress up the edge and to give it a little bit more strength to resist sagging. I cut these strips of solid wood. I'm just going to glue and nail those on with two inch brads. Okay, that's all there is to it. If you want to add a little bit more strength, similar to this, except on the back to keep it from sagging, you can always put some cleats in there, say in the middle. Short ones, they don't have to go full length. I mean, you've got the support of the standard here. You put one like six inches long in the middle there. That'll uh, help a lot with sag, especially if you're putting a lot of weight on here. 